Hi there, how you doing? Welcome to Microsoft Project 2010 Fast Track. My name is Phil Akinwale, and in the studio I have with me today, Mary Hersher, who also happens to be my mentor, who introduced me to all things PMI, PMP, PMISP, all that stuff. But it's a great pleasure to have Mary here today. Thank you very much for coming, Mary. Oh, thanks for having me. And uh, we're going to be talking about Microsoft Project 2010. Now, Project 2010 is a totally different animal. In fact, people who have used scheduling software, they complain so much about MS Project. And I've had my share of it. I don't know about you, Mary. What do you think about MS Project? Um, it takes some experience to get used to. <laughs> That's a very polite way of putting it. But um, going back to 2003, that first government project we worked on, and that was a huge project, and we used MS Project to the max. Yes, we did. But uh, hopefully here we can help people within a few hours to get some tips, some tricks, and get to know a little bit more about the software without getting too far into the weeds, yes. hopefully. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about yourself, Mary. Um, I am a PMP certified project manager, of course. <laughs> <laughs> And um, I've had uh, over 18 years of experience in project management. I've worked on several consulting gigs, and I have um, high knowledge and skill in the projects um, 2003 through 2010 and the servers. Wow. And um, enjoy working with them. And. I don't like to brag too much about myself, so. <laughs> but hang on, hang on. Let's yeah. give let's give let's give uh, praise to who who praises to you. So, you are a PMISP. What's that? Um, a professional PM project manager with my um, scheduling certifications. Okay, so that's from the PMI. Yes, so you're that's a from PMI, the PMI. PMISP, uh -huh. Project Management Institute Scheduling Professional. You've also done a black belt and an orange belt with. Uh, with IIL. Right, yes. so that's just phenomenal. Yes, that's where I started learning the most. They had a good course in, I got my orange belt and black belt, and that's in the project server arena. Okay, excellent. All right, well, that's Mary. Uh, my name's Phil Akinwale, like I said in the beginning. Um, all of these certifications you can see on the screen, it's all Mary's fault. She got me addicted to the PMI. So I've got four, five PMI certifications. Um, I've worked in various projects. Mary and I worked on a government project back in 03. So hopefully today we can uh, walk you through. I'm going to be um, the co-pilot, and Mary's going to be the pilot showing us um, the tips and tricks of um, MS Project 2010. Great. Well, let's get started. Absolutely. Okay, for our course outline today, we're going to go through the introduction of the interface of the uh, project, and um, we're going to do a little exercise on how to customize it. We're going to introduce you to dynamic scheduling, so you can get used to seeing how to schedule appropriately. We're going to have an exercise creating a work breakdown structure. And we're going to show you what tasks are, estimates, dependencies, constraints, and talk about a little bit about the resource assignments and how to put costs in your schedules. And then we're going to talk about how to build a project plan and update it and monitor and control. And I'm going to introduce you to some schedule reporting templates that we use at our company. And I forgot to mention where I work, and it was Iridium at the satellite company. And then we're going to let you see the magic of using templates and introduce you to the project checklist and also introduce you to how to status a schedule using a checklist. So I hope the tools are, um, will help you to get started in your business. I hope so. Well, let's see. Okay. For the introduction to the interface, we're going to understand the family of project and all of the little software pieces that you can put together. And um, we're gonna do PM activities covered by the software, so your PMI, and see what you can actually use this project for. Uh, talk about the scheduling engine, so you understand that. Um, the introduction to the tool ribbon, and it's new in 2010. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't seen it, you'll see the new one now. Um, we're going to explore the templates, the project guide, uh, look at the views. There's hundreds of views you can customize, but I'm going to show you the canned ones. 
calendars, the project reports, and the organizer. It's gonna be your favorite friend when you wanna <laughs> copy and paste stuff from other project schedules. And then your global NPT, I want you to understand how that works. Okay, great. So we talked about the office products and what Microsoft offers for project. You'll notice that they call it EPM. That's an enterprise project management solution. Um, so we have our office, our Exchange server, Microsoft Dynamics, so it's all integrated to work as one, and that's how Microsoft has made it. Um, right now we're gonna do the Professional 2010. Now the difference between Professional 2010 and your standard, and we had a lot of questions on this when we implemented server at our company, was when you have your project professional, you can actually hook to the server. Right. We're not gonna go into the server today, but I wanted you guys to be aware that when you use Project Professional, it has a place where you can hook to the enterprise. Standard does not. So if you go out and you think you're gonna hook to the server and you bought standard, won't work. Mm. So that's an know. important tip to know. And then we talk about the server here, mm -hmm. and then the SharePoint server, they're tightly integrated. Um, it's a great tool for managing projects. Right. So I'm gonna move on to the next slide and we're gonna talk about the project manager's activities and how they're covered by Microsoft Project. So you'll notice uh, we have the little matrix and if you've seen the um, PMBOK, and I believe it's four, mm -hmm. they use this matrix in there to talk about certain things. But what we're gonna do here is show you the little checks represent what is actually covered in Microsoft Project. So integration management, project scope, of course, time management, stakeholder management, cost management, project quality, human resource management, because we're managing our resources. Our communications isn't so much covered in Microsoft Project. It's more of a email right. communication meetings. Mm -hmm. Risk management is not covered in the use of project and project procurement management is usually not covered in Microsoft Project. Right, cool. Okay, now the scheduling engine. This is the magic mm -hmm. that's in back of the uh, project scheduling. The scheduling en engine is a computational brain that is always going on in the back of your project. That's what drives people crazy. Oh, though. yes. <laughs> They always complain because their hours are more than they thought they would be after you've um, estimated a job and then you start scheduling. They can't figure out why their hours suddenly mm -hmm. went from 500 to 10,000. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna explain why today. Okay. It's that scheduling engine going in the back. Um, it considers non-working time such as weekends when calculating the task start and finish dates and it lets you set your calendars, so if you have special holidays within your company, you can put those in the calendars. So when you put your start and finish date, it calculates those in there so you don't have like, oh, I forgot to do that, so it's 10 days later than you had expected, mm. which is important. We, we worked on that one government project yeah. and 10 days was a lot of days. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> we wanna make sure our calendars are up to date. And then, a lot of people say, I want to use Excel or Visio to do my project Yeah, schedule. isn't Excel good? There's nothing wrong with Excel. Give us a break. If you like to update every line <laughs> in your Excel spreadsheet every time a date changes, <laughs> have at it. Okay, I'm going to compete with you in Excel, and I'm going to find out if Excel is better than project at the end of the day. Okay. <laughs> when we get to that <laughs> dynamic scheduling thing. Okay, so let's get on. Um, let, let me talk about this little formula that you see here. Um, kind of memorize it. We talk about work, mm -hmm. and it equals duration times unit. What is the work? The work is the hours it takes you to do something. Okay. Duration is the days it takes you to do something. Okay, so is it possible for me to, let's say I'm working on a particular project, Maybe I'm working four hours, but I spread the four hours over four days. So I work one hour on day one, one hour on day two. Is that really what you mean? So my mm -hmm. work would be four hours, but the duration would be four days? 
that's going to depend on your units. Mm. That's the other thing in this calculation. So if you worked one hour a day for four days, you're going to only work one eighth okay. of a day. Okay. So your units, your units are set up to 100 percent, and it, depending on the duration, it'll calculate it for you. Okay. And we'll talk about task types, and that's where the work duration and units come into play and play with that scheduling engine, which people call the scheduling an obnoxious piece of software. So Which it is. I'm going <laughs> to teach you guys you know how to train <laughs> and maintain it. Cool. All right. Okay, so we're going to skip into the actual okay. software. Okay. Well, um, I think it will be a good thing if we took a little break here. I'm re my head's already overheating with all this stuff. So we'll take a break, and then when we come back, we'll okay. maybe go into the rest. I'll get it set up. Cool. Thank, Thank you. you.